Uh, first, what you want to do is uh, put it into uh, Odin download mode. So hold down volume down, center button, and the power button together until your phone resets. And then you're going to let go of the power button um, when your phone resets. There you go. And keep holding down volume down and the uh, center button. And this is how you get into Odin download mode. And once you get the warning screen, hit volume up. And then next what you're going to do is uh, hook it up to your computer via micro USB cable to your computer. And let's go to your computer. Next what you're going to do is uh, um, go download uh, Galaxy S3 root att.zip. If you unzip it, you'll find uh, four files. Um, and go ahead and run Odin 3 v 1.85. Uh, run it. And you should get this comp sign with the yellow thing. Um, if you don't install Samsung keys, um, don't run Samsung keys, just install it and this that will install the drivers and then uh, you know unplug your phone and plug it back in and you should get this yellow uh, highlight. If you don't, um, my best suggestion is try uh, try another computer. Sometimes Windows uh, drivers can get very iffy and also I'll have another instruction set for uh, Linux and Mac. Um, this is pretty much the same thing as the uh, T-Mobile version but I'm, I'm making another video because I know some of you if I just use my T-Mobile they'll be like oh you use your T-Mobile Galaxy S3 so this way I'll use the AT&T version and I'll have video proof that it works so you guys don't go crazy anyway choose PDA and then go uh, browse to the Galaxy S3 root ATT directory choose cwm-recovery.tar hit open hit start you don't have to touch anything else do not touch anything else and let it do its thing and uh, this will flash the recovery the way this works root method works is that it install the, installs the custom recovery on your phone it does not touch anything else it does not uh, affect your phone in any way or form or fashion um, and then we're gonna simply copy over the uh, super user files here which is the CWM super SU um, we're gonna copy into our phone reboot into the clockwork mod recovery we just installed and flash the rooting files and this will I know a lot of people say like oh I rooted my phone and you know my Wi-Fi is not working all this um, but it's not gonna happen because this root method does not touch your Wi-Fi or anything in your phone um, so once it reboots you're gonna um, you should be able to see that your phone will show up here uh, for Windows here. Um, there you go. So do a right click on the uh, the zip file here and do copy. So we copy that file and go to your i747. Go to your phone and do a right click paste. And I already actually copied it over. So it's right there. And let's go back to our phone for the final part. Um, next, you won't you don't need the uh, USB cable. Throw it away. Um, hold down volume up center button and the power button and then hold it down and when your phone resets let go of the power button but keep holding down the volume up and the center home button and this is how you get into clockwork mod recovery later on when you install backup or restore ROMs oh you know what I didn't press it right there we go and uh, any second here it will turn off. Now let go of the power button because your phone reset it. Keep holding down the volume up and the center home button and you'll get into um, Clockwork Mod Recovery after this logo. And there's also a way to unroot so no worries. Um, you can always unroot after rooting and very safe to do. Just, just make sure you have enough battery. Um, anything above you know, 30% should be fine. Go to install zip from SD card and uh, choose it from SD card or internal SD card depending where you copy those files over to I don't have an SD card inserted so it's gotta be in my internal SD card so choose it from SD internal SD card hit the power button and then go find that file cwm super su blah blah dot zip and hit the power button and say yes and this will root your phone and give you super su which is the new super user app and you'll get a successful um, go back, hit the power button, reboot, and you your phone should be fully rooted. Um, you're all ready to go. You can go run rooted apps. Um, 